people from Tyler's Time Tunes and more to you. Welcome to our first garden video outside. I'm so excited. Oh, we got the bees out here and the bugs and this beautiful day outside. And it looks like we have our new herb box finished. But this is my first video on this channel outside. So we got everything. Everything's doing wonderful. And I'm just going to show you guys what we have here and what I'm going to be planting. Because I have some stuff over here that I need to plant. So let's get into it. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you, if this really helps you out. So I have my plants here. So I have three kinds of tomatoes in the back. This is Better Boy. These are Better Boy, Boy tomatoes. This is the Celebrity tomatoes. No, there's different kinds of tomatoes. So this is Better Boy. This is Celebrity tomatoes. And the one on the end there is Roma tomatoes. And then up front here, is this baby pea plant now they're all babies but when they grow and they get more nutrients because we just planted these yesterday when they grow to be bigger and they will you will actually be able to see them we won't have to move the camera around because you'll be able to see them because they're so big so those are the baby peas down there yay in the middle here we have lettuce the garden box is at full right now I brought all these. We also have peppers back there. These are bell peppers. There's different kinds of peppers. So these are just regular bell peppers. And then in front of that, we have some cat grass. Now the cat grass is little like the peppers and the peas and the lettuce, but they'll eventually grow. And in the back here with my finished herb garden, we have basil. This is the basil, and so is this. One's bigger, one's smaller. But we have two basil plants right here. This is oregano. It's not doing that good. It's recovering from all the damage because we went on vacation when we got home. Everything was messed up. So, and right here we have the thyme. It's very, very little. Look how little the leaves are. Now, don't get too mixed up with this and basil because they both look the same when they sprout. So be very careful so, because we don't want any cross-contamination going on. So I planted all of these in my house. And I planted the lettuce, the peas, the cat grass, the peppers, and the stuff back here. We'll get to that. But the tomatoes here and all this other stuff I have right here, I... Uh, they were starting it up at the store, so I'm like, hey, look at that. We got some stuff going on here. Things weren't doing this good, so I bought some today, and we're going to transplant all these into our garden. And right here with this big uh, cage here, we have the corn. It's so little, so we had to put this around it because the corn grow in stalks. And I have a lot of them growing this year, so they're going to be all up in stalks, and I'm sure we're going to get some corn this year. All right, heading on over to the back. Ooh, things are looking good here. Look at that. So starting here with our pumpkins, we have flowers. The flowers are starting to open up nice and early. Usually, um, last year I did a garden and I planted these pumpkins and they didn't grow flowers for like three, five, three to five weeks until they started sprouting flowers. Now I did all these inside too and they started growing flowers. I posted that garden video, so make sure to check it out. It's brand new, it's at the top of my YouTube channel. Go check it out. But they're starting to open up. They're definitely starting to open up. They were, they were closed when I did my last garden video inside, but now they're starting to open up. And fun fact, the flowers, um, when they open up, the pumpkin grows inside of them, and then they well, the flowers, they close up again, they harden, and they change color. And then these flowers become, they actually become the pumpkin stem. So these flowers get hard, and they actually, they're actually the pumpkin stem. They may look different, but when we have our pumpkins, I will definitely show you guys how the flower changes into a stem. So those are our pumpkins. We have squash right here. These are mini squash plants. I just planted them three weeks ago. So they're a little new. They're not that big. 
Oh, we got a lot of bugs out here. And then here we have squash and cucumbers. Now, in the beginning of the season, I had some cross-contamination. So I didn't know which one was which. So I have squash and cucumbers in the same thing. But when they start growing cucumbers and squash, the plants, we'll know which one is which because we can actually see the food growing. So we'll know by then. But for now, we don't really know because we have a little bit of cross-contamination. Because when they sprout, the pumpkins, the cucumbers, and the squash, they all sprout and they look the same. And that's when you really get into that cross-contamination problem. So be careful with your sprouts, guys, because ooh, you might have some problems. All right, so on to what we're doing today. So all these plants here, um, we have, what is this? This is cilantro. So we're just gonna be transplanting some things into the herb box and some into the garden box because we don't really have that much stuff here. It's empty. So we're gonna start with cilantro. Ready? Go. Alrighty, everybody. So we have my first cilantro plant. This one's growing pretty well. So this is how you actually take a plant out of like a plastic pot like this and transplant it into the garden. So first I'm gonna take my mighty digging tool and I'm just gonna put it in the ground and I'm gonna twist a little bit, make some room. There's gonna be a plentiful hole right there. And then I'm going to pull it out and just press that button and it drops somewhere else in the bed here. This is my new earth bed, don't you like it? So we're gonna put my tool down there so what you're going to do is you're going to hold the plant, which is the cilantro, hold the plant by its stem, and then you're going to squish it up a little bit, and then eventually what it'll do, it'll come out. Perfect! There you go. And then we're just going to lightly pat it down. Let me take this out of the way. Just lightly pat it down. Make sure it's stable. Make sure it doesn't fall down. And there's our first cilantro plant. Yay! Oh, hi, Mr. B. All right, we're going to put that right there as cilantro. All right, I'm going to do my next cilantro plant. I'll see you when we're done. Okay, everybody. So I'm over here, and now I'm going to do my rosemary that I bought. So we're just gonna dig it up right here. We're gonna dig a nice hole, make it big enough, and then we dig it in there. Oh. There we go. Perfect little hole. Now we're gonna take our little tag off. We don't need this to go down. Perfect. Alright? Same technique. This one's a little hard because that's the best way to try. The roots for the rosemary is gorgeous. Look at that. Zoom in on that. The roots are an orange, yellowish, goldish color. That is pretty weird. Lightly pat it down. You don't want to hurt it. Cover up the leaves. Put the tag there. There's our rosemary. Ooh, it smells good. If you take your hand and then you lightly put it against the rosemary or any other type of herb, like basil or something, and you smell it, it smells great. Your hand smells like rosemary. So now my hand smells like rosemary. All right, on to the next plant. Since I only have one rosemary. All right, next. Let's see. Is this bell peppers? There you go. Bell peppers. Let me see. Is this bell peppers too? Yes, it is. All right. So I'm gonna do one on camera and one off camera. So we're gonna we're actually gonna play. 
put these in the garden box. There we go. Because we have our peppers right here. Alright. So let me do one. I'm going to do this one. We're going to take the tag off first. We're going to put it in there later. This one's a little tight. So we're going to hold it. Perfect. Look at those roots. Nice. Alright. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to... Where's my tool? Oh no, my tool! I left it over there. There we go. I got my trusty tool. Perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna step in here real quick. Doesn't hurt any plants. Try not to step back more. Cover it up with the soil. Perfect. There's our first one. We're going to pause the video and we'll see you back with our second one right there. Alrighty. So, next up we have our oregano. I'm going to put it right next to the oregano plant that I have now. Put this out to the side. Little trick. Oh, there's a big bush of oregano. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at these roots. There we go. Perfect. Our little oregano bush. All right. Next up. Broccoli! These are both broccoli plants. So, broccoli really has to have some, like, broccoli has to have big space for it to grow. So, we're going to put the broccoli in the middle of the, actually, I'm going to put this in the middle of the garden box. Because we have this big, big empty world over here. So that's where I'm gonna put this. Let me get my little tool here. Okay. You can find these at Amazon right here. Just say garden dirt grabbers. year for this garden box because it's starting to rot and when it rots when it rots it falls apart and we don't want this to fall apart during harvesting season and growing season because that will definitely affect plants all right let's take our broccoli here get this out hold on to it tight and squeeze it it down lightly make sure it's stable this one isn't that stable don't really know why there we go and then we have our second one we're gonna go ahead and pause the video we'll see you when we're done alrighty everybody we have our last plant for today cauliflower Ta-da! I'm gonna do one for you guys. I'm gonna do this one. We have two here. So I'm gonna take my little bowl. Perfect. I'm just gonna put this right here. Now, this is a certain type of cauliflower. This is not the white kind. This is actually graffiti cauliflower. Also, before this video ends, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what I use to feed my starting garden. So I have a, a, a very special feeder by miracle Grow, And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about that before 
we end this video. But let me just play it. Okay, cauliflower first. That's a nice cauliflower plant. There we go. Look how nice that is. Perfect. All right, we'll pause the video and then we'll have all this done and then we'll talk about the Miracle Grove Garden. Okay, everybody, before the end of this video, I have a special tool that I used to water my garden last year. I'm going to do it again this year once my uh, plants grow bigger and once they are able to handle this because they're so small, this might actually kill them because it's too much water for them. But once they get bigger, I start to use this. So this is called the miracle Grow Garden Repeater. It's from miracle Grow. I use miracle Grow soil. I use miracle Grow everything. I just love using miracle Grow for my garden. So this is actually called the miracle Grow Garden Repeater or the Liquid Repeater. You can call it... Uh, different names, but I call it the Miracle Grow Garden Repeater. It has plenty of names. So what you do is you can attach this to your hose. So what you would do is you would attach this to your hose and then it would be a like a hose attachment. That's what it is. And then you can screw it in through here. And then what you do is you just pull this and then water comes out but it has different settings to it and this is the cool part about the miracle grow garden feeder it has different settings so then you can water your garden without drowning the plants because when the plants get bigger you don't want to drown them because you've been doing so much for them to grow that they've grown so big that they should be ready to harvest now and you just killed them because you drowned them but this has different settings. So the settings on here is jet, shower, flat, stream. So there are several different cool settings that you can use for the Miracle Go Garden Feeder. And what you do is you just turn this part of the hose attachment. And I mostly prefer jet because it's it really squirts them out. It's, it squirts water out smoothly so then it doesn't just go in one place it goes in different directions just by one hose attachment so this is really cool so what you have to do is just just turn the knob to switch to the setting that you desire and that's the cool thing about the miracle grow garden feeder it helps your garden stay alive and get watered so then it can grow more without drowning it so if you would like this the Miracle Grow Garden Feeder uh, hose attachment. You can go on Amazon for it. Just type in uh, Miracle Grow Garden Feeder or Liqua Feeder, and then you can get it today. So I hope this tool really helps your garden because it really did with mine last year. It was amazing. So make sure you get this fancy hose attachment tool so then you can help your garden too. I'm Tyler from Tyler's Time Tunes and More. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I'll see you in the next garden video. Peace!